Welcome to poker vlog number 41. It's been a good amount of time since the last vlog, so it took me a while. And two big things. The biggest one is uh, I have a new baby. My daughter was born a little over a month ago, the 30th of October. So, no, I'm a pregnant wife, but three girls. And that is switching up our schedule. Now I'm playing a good amount later since I stay home, put them to sleep. Um, today we have help, so I'm playing at 7. But for the most part, I'm playing 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. So definitely a very different schedule. Another change is that thing right there is my new motorcycle that is going to help a little bit with the hourly since less gas to drive here. And it's quicker since I literally drive right inside and it's the parking right in the entrance. You see the Christmas tree. So today is most likely going to be 1-3 uh, and uh, every hand. So we are definitely going to be a little more aggressive than our previous vlog since I do tend to be more aggressive in 1-3. That's not good. I should always have the same game, but I don't have a massive uh, bankroll and last month's have been great. So I do tend to be a little tighter in 2-5. So let's play and they got the splash pots today that I love to win. <laughs> so let's head in. Hopefully you could run good. And uh, that is it. Let's do it. All right, let's play some poker. We head in and see the good news and open a new table. That's always nice because I get to pick my seat. That is number seven. And let's head to the first hand. That aren't the best. Jack four off, 10 five off, 10 six off, eight deuce off. Now we got Jack four suited. Usually wouldn't play it, but we are kind of forced to since we're in a big blind under the gun limps and small blind calls. So I just check. Club is very nice. Three, four, Jack, top two. Checks to me. I said a check here. I feel like we just have this locked down and maybe overcard could come and give someone top pair and we could build a pot from there. So I do check, but it checks around. Turn is a five. When it checks to me, it's trying to get some value. I bet $3 and everybody folds. So with a rake and giving a dealer a dollar tip, we break even. And that is why I'm not a fan of limping in 1-3, especially not ever, but especially 1-3 because the rake is so high. The pots are so tiny. It's just, it's hard to make money in limp pots. Anyways, let's move on. 3 do suited, 9-6 off, 8-3 off. And now it's one of the splash pots. So hopefully we get a good hand. We are in the hijack with, yeah, one of the worst possible hands. 4 deuce off. But this is a splash pot and the minimum you could win here is 50 food voucher but most of them are free bet and money and i think the max you could win is 200 dollars. so at least it all evens out to a value of 50 dollars. i think even more but let's just leave it at that to make it easy so this is almost like a 1350 so even though my hand is complete garbage i think it's still good enough to put in three dollars since anything is for what you could win so that is what i do sadly we're not gonna be able to see a flop because the button bets 40 dollars small blind jams for 65 and of course with that action i just fold and the button did that pocket aces so definitely a beautiful spot to have aces since you're gonna get a lot of action moving on five deuce off now we got a decent one ace five suited under the gun one and make it 12 dollars but no action every folds now we're shuttling ourselves in under the gun but we cannot defend since we have eight six off big line seven three suited three limpers so once again we are going to play this garbage hand we check flop is eight seven queen so bottom pair uh yeah definitely not strong enough to do anything so i check chucks around turn is a five i check hijack bets eleven dollars and when a button calls i'm just folding king seven off now we're going to cut off with a playable one a seven suited hijack limb so i make it fifteen dollars and get the small bind and hijack to call so three ways to flop that comes queen four five so not the worst when over card back to a flush draw back to a straight draw so when it checks to me i'm going to bet i make it twenty dollars and only the small blind calls turn is very nice it's an eight of clubs so we have the nut flusher and a gut shot but things get interesting since he leads for forty dollars and he has a little over 100 behind. He has about 105. And this was a really weird spot. In the moment, it did feel like value. It is half pot, but it did seem like just a good size to be able to rip it on the river. And that does bring in the straight. And maybe he has some two pairs. He has a small blind that people call pretty wide. So in the moment, it did feel like value. And I don't know, sometimes, you know, in the moment, you just have some you know you just have a feeling about something and i was feeling he was going for value and i didn't think he was gonna fold so i decided to be safe and call i definitely felt if i hit the river i'm gonna get value since it's the backdoor flush that they definitely it's harder to put me on so i do decide to call river sadly is a nine so we miss everything and he bets forty dollars again 
And yeah, we are blocking the nuts, but he just has $65 behind. So this sounds pretty insane trying to bluff here for such a small size. So let's just let it go and move on. Maybe I don't hate jamming. Again, in the moment, I just felt like he was going for value. I wasn't going to fold. So it is what it is. Let's move on. I top off to get back at 300 and let's get through some garbage. Four deuce off, ace deuce off, seven four suited, eight five off, six deuce suited. Win a big blind and we chop it up. Five deuce off, jack deuce off, eight six off. Now we are in hijack with a playable one, you could say. Eight six suited. Definitely on the wider side, playing his hand in the hijack, but let's do it. Low jack limps, I make it $15, and he jams for $51. So, of course, if he had more behind, I'd just be snap folding. But if I call, we're going to get the showdown. And I just have to call $37 to win over 100 And my hand is really not doing that good against plenty of them. If he has over pairs, of course, that's worst case scenario. But he just has $51. I definitely think he'd be doing his hands. Even with Ace King, we're getting the price to call. So with that in mind, I do put in the call. So let's see the run out. Flop comes. Ace Queen Six, so not looking good. Turn is another ace. That's good. Less like he has an ace himself. And River is a six. So we River a full house. Looking good unless he has an ace. And he does not. He had pocket jacks. So it was one of the worst case scenarios. He had an over pair, but we suck out on the river with our sixes and we take it down with our full house. This brings us a little closer to breaking even minus $40. Let's move on. Ace too soft. No one under than two with king six suited. And um, yeah, I'm usually pretty strict, honestly, with my preflop ranges. But in the moment, I do decide to raise it up. And I think it was partly because this table is playing pretty tight. So that is what I do. It does end up folding to the big blind. Who calls? Flop. Ace 10 do so we don't hit, but definitely way better for us. And we got a backdoor flush draw and a backdoor straight draw. So good enough to put out a bet. I make it $10 and it's good news when he folds. So it does work out playing super wide. But let's try to stay to our ranges. Let's move on. King 7 off. 10 8 off. King 6 off. 3 4 off. Now on the button with 9 4 suited. Definitely once again pretty wide, but I do like it in this spot because the blinds are very tight. So I think if I raise it here, I'm just going to take it down a lot pre flop. And that is just $4. That is definitely nice without even having to see a flop. So let's do it. I do make it $12. Small blind call, sadly. Going to a flop. Deuce 10 deuce. So not much going on for us. And don't have to think much about it. So the small blind leads all in $42. And yeah, more than pot. Nine high. I just fold. Let's move on. Very next hand. We got, I guess, a better one. Pocket deuces in the cutoff. There's two limpers. And I know, I know. I literally just said I don't like to limp. But this is a different spot. Very particular with my pocket deuces. I just want to see a cheap flop and see if I hit my set. So, um, yeah, again, this is very particular. If I was in earlier position, I'd consider more raising or folding. But in the cutoff, in a tight game that I don't think too many people are going to raise, this is one of those rare occasions that I limp behind. But in small blind and big blind, join in with the limps and checks. And we go to a flop that we do not hit our set. So when someone bets... I'm just folding, and now let's get through a little bit of garbage. Ace 8 off, 6 5 off, Ace 9 off, 8 7 off, 5 4 off, 8 4 off, 3 deuce off, 6 deuce off, and now we finally see the first premium of the session. Ace King off. There's three limpers, and if anybody was wondering how I make my raises pre flop, baseline is. $12 and if there's one limper I make it 15 and every limper above that I just add $5 to make it easy So in this spot three limpers I make it $25 and sadly no action since everybody folds Moving on king six off seven four off eight three off and now it's another splash pot So I'm in under the gun I'm gonna straddle to be able to be the last player to talk and we see a decent one king do suited Everybody limps to me except one player that folded, and this is definitely a candidate. I feel like if someone had a strong hand, people don't slow play here. They want to win the splash pot. They want to win the promotion. They're not trapping almost ever. So all these hands look pretty weak, and I think I get them to fold. I make it $65. 
we watch as we see the good news that little by little everybody starts folding until we get to the last player in the small blind. He seems like he's going to fold. We're ready to win that splash pod, but last moment he decides to rip it all in for one hundred and ten dollars. And yeah, what are you gonna do? I'm definitely not folding. I just got to call forty-five dollars to win a way bigger pot, and there's a splash pot, so I do put in the call. Let's see the run out. Flop, ten, jack, three. Not looking good. Turn is a deuce. That, hey, gives us some hope. River is a 10. And sadly, we are no good against Jack. Nine suited. So we were in a decent spot ahead pre-flop. But he hits his top pair on the flop. That will be good. Pause. I got a pretty amazing announcement. I'm doing a giveaway with Run It Once. And we're giving away... 10 monthly subscriptions for that are worth $199 and one yearly one that I think is around $1,400. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel and you'll have to make a free account on their website. And there's a few other things you can do to get extra tickets. And that's it. And I'm not huge. This is only for my followers and subscribers. So you have a really good chance hitting this. The content's amazing. They're about to put out a bunch of new content. So it's really worth it. I'd Highly recommend it. The link's in the info of this video. And with that, let's get back to play. Moving on to the very next time we see a prettier one. King, queen off in the big blind. Under the gun makes it $12, but then calls and happy calling here. Let's see a flop. That, not great. A 7-7, seven, seven, so not hitting much. And when I check it, under the gun decides just to rip it all in for $75. Yeah, over 2x pot. When it folds me, I just fold. Next hand, we get an upgrade again. Now a premium ace king off. Let's go. Under than two makes it $13, falls to me. And let's three bit. I make it 50. He pretty quickly jams for 103. And um, yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Hopefully we are good. It doesn't have aces or kings. I call flop four, four, nine. Turn is a six, river is a five. So Hopefully our ace high is good, but he flashes a four. I fold and he flips over ace four suited. Yeah. Um, I don't know um, <laughs> about this spot. Um, he had no full equity jamming on pre-flop since I had to call a little over 50 to win over $200 pot. So not sure what's going on there. Um, I guess he just felt that he was going to flop trips but um yeah once again we lose an all in pre-flop this time we were way ahead and with that we are down almost buying 266 dollars so yeah as i mentioned i've been going through a pretty bad run since july i've only had one good month and we are now in december so uh yeah i gotta say when i've been getting the bad end of variances for sets a big amount of time my stamina is definitely lower when I have uh, bad sessions. So I'm definitely feeling it a lot more than I would if, you know, if I'm running good, if variances are on a good side or even, I just feel like, okay, you know, um, I gotta hit bad side of variances as well. It is just part of the game. But when you constantly get hit over and over again, with variances not being on your side, it just feels like, you know, it's time to run good. Uh, but that's not how it works. Every session we're back at zero. Um, so it could go either way. That is just the beauty and pain of poker. So all we could do is focus what is in our control. And that is playing our best game, not letting emotions get to us. So yeah, let's just focus and move on to the next hand. Ace nine off, queen three off, jack six off, ace six suited, ace six off, we chop the blinds, ace three off. Now in a cutoff with king ten off, I made twelve dollars, everybody folds, jack nine off. Now I'm in under and two with pocket threes, under and one limbs, I make it fifteen dollars, get the hijack cutoff, big line, and under and one to call. So yeah, flop. 466, six, so not the worst for my hand, but so multiwe. I check, hijack with $25, cut off jams for 65, big blind jams for 165. So I have a suspicion that my pocket threes may not be good. So I just fold. Moving on, ace five off, jack eight off suited, decent but not in under the gun. So I fold. Now in a big blind, ace seven off, low jack limbs, small blind call. So I check, flop. Five deuce five 
checks around, turn is a four. It's probably about ten dollars, and I don't think my ace high is good, so I fold. Let's get through a decent amount of garbage. Three deuce off, jack four off, jack seven off, nine five off, jack nine off, queen five off, jack six off, queen three suited, six seven suited in the big blind. I definitely defend, but falls to the blinds. We chop it up. A six suited in the small blind. Once again, falls to us. We chop it up. Queen eight suited in a button. I definitely raise it, but when the cutoff makes it $13. I fold. Now we're down at a decent one. Ace 10 suited and under the gun too. I make it $12 and I get a cutoff and big blind to call. Flop 5 3 queen. So not much going on for us three ways. I check. It checks around. Turn is nice. It's an ace. When it checks to me, I decide to play a little tricky with the 10 kicker and have an ace in my checking range. I check. It checks around. River is another three. Big blind bets $20. And um, yeah, I don't see the value in raising because one, we're chopping against every ace since our kicker isn't in play anymore. And maybe he has a three himself. So I call cutoff folds and we are good against pocket sevens that went super thin for value. I appreciate it very much. And we take it down. Moving on, the queen five off, nine five suited on a big bang with nine seven off. We get to see a free flop because everyone limps, but we completely miss. So when someone bets, I fold. No on the button with jack ten off. Three limpers, let's punish them. I make it twenty five dollars, but things don't go as planned. So the small blind three bets just to sixty six falls to me, and you are getting an amazing price in position. But the small blind is not very deep, and he's tight, so he's super nutted. That size just wants me to call, so I just felt like most likely it's an overpair that we're not doing great against, so I don't think I'm making money with the call. So I do fold, and indeed, he shows me pocket queens. That, yeah, makes sense. Moving on, again, we get another hand, and it's prettier. Ace 10 suited in the cutoff. Low jack limps. I make it $15 to get the big blind low jack to call. Flop is beautiful. 10 ace 3. We flop top 2. Checks to me. I bet $15, and we finally hit the board, but... No value to get since sadly they both fold. Moving on to 6 4 off, ace 5 off, 9 5 off. Small blind, king 8 suited, under the limps. So I make it $20 and he calls. Flop 5 5 4. So yeah, now with not much going on for us, I think that's definitely a better word for him. Yeah, we have all the over pairs, but he has fives. He has over pairs himself that's not folding. He has flush draws and straight draws. So I don't not decide to try to bluff here. I check. He bets $20 and I fold. After that, we have 10 9 off that we fold. And now it's time to take a break to have some dinner. All right, not the best start for sure. We're going to take a break now to have a buffet, eat, and uh, yeah, just recharge. Uh, I'm not going great. This is how it's been um, lately. Last month, as I mentioned, just a lot of small wins and uh, not much going our way. And yeah, there's two all-ins that we were ahead that we lost. Definitely doesn't help out, especially the second one. We did get lucky in the first one, but um, yeah, winning the small all-ins and losing the big ones is not the great mix to have a profitable session, especially age four against AC. But anyways, let's just focus and uh, eat, fill our stomach, and get, get back to play. All right, the quick break and food definitely helped us feel better. So let's get right back into it. We buy the blinds, we got King Jack off, and then everybody folds to us. So we get our money back. Moving on in the button, we got King 10 off under the limp. So I make it $15 and he folds. Now we get to upgrade King Queen off and hijack. There's a button straddle going on, two limpers. So let's raise it up to a decent size, $36. And once again, everybody folds, but still decent. Taking some pots pre-flop, not having to see a flop is never the worst. Moving on, 9-3 off, 7 deuce off. Now we're in the big black with Queen Jack off. No Jack limps, hijack makes $11, cut off button calls. And for that price, let's do it. I call. Now the low jack goes all in, but just $26. So when everybody else calls, can't fold for 15 more. So I do call. Flop, uh, not what we're hoping for. Deuce, ace, four. So absolutely nothing going on for us when I check and hijack bet $20. I just fold. King, seven off. Jack, deuce off. Now we're in the cutoff with ace, seven suited. Under the limps and definitely good enough to raise. So I'm going to get $15. Falls back to him and he calls. Flop, decent. Ace, nine, nine. When he checks, I definitely think I could be behind a decent amount of time. They could have ace with better kicker or a nine. So I decide to pocket to a little bit and check back. Turn is a six. And now when he checks, let's get some value. I bet $15, but doesn't seem like he has much since he does fold. 
Moving on, queen jack off under the limps, and let's raise it again and make it $15. And the cutoff calls, limp or fold. So, not what we were expecting. Heads up to flop out of position, it comes ace, seven, four. So, ace high board, definitely good for us. I do like Ben here, but in the moment, I do decide to check. He checks back, turn is a seven, and after checking the flop, I think I still keep trying now to bet, but I just felt like he wouldn't believe me. So, I check, he checks back, river is a deuce. And now when any five is a straight, after checking twice, I don't think it makes too much sense. So I check, he checks back. I would get punished for not being aggressive since he has king 10, king high is good. I definitely think we could have got that to fold. But anyways, we did not. And we're moving on to a little bit of garbage. Seven, three off, Zach deuce off, queen eight off in a big blind, falls to us, we chop it up. 10 deuce off in a small blind, again falls to us, we chop it up. Down a button with seven, six suited. Hides out, cut off limbs, so I make it $20 and they all fold. So getting some money pre-flop, nine, three off. 9-5 off, and now we see a premium ace-king off. News get better since the straddle is going on. I make it $20. Folks choose a small blind who calls. Now, under the gun, three bets at 65. That's definitely very small. And yeah, this 300 effective. That's 50 big blinds with a straddle. Just one move to do here. I jam, and everybody folds. So, at least we've been winning some hands pre-flop, and this is not bad. This was almost 100 bucks, so I will take it. 8-4 off, queen three off. Not a big blind with 7-8 off. Limps around, so I check, we miss the flop, and we fold. Jack six off, queen seven off, 10 five off, king jack off, and a high jack. Low jack makes it six dollars, and super small raise. If this was a player that had different sizes, and he made it this small, I'd definitely be three betting with his hand, just as a bluff, but not knowing what's up with this raise, and flat calling, I don't like it, and three betting may be a little too wide with this hand. Suited, of course, I would, but with offsuit, I just fold. Seven four off. 6-3 suited, 10-8 off, and now we got a pretty one that a lot of people don't like, pocket jacks and under the gun. I make it $12 and get the low jack butt in the car. So three ways to flop that comes, king, 6-3, so not the worst, this one over card, but three ways, I check, it checks around, turn is a deuce, and once they check, I think most likely nobody has a king, so our jacks may be good, and we need some protection, so let's bet I make it $15, and they both fold. 5-4 off in the big blind, we fold, 9-deuce off, queen-deuce off, 9-5 off, king-4 suited, 8-6 off, now we see another pocket pair, not as pretty though, pocket 7s and under them too, I make it $12, now the low jack makes it 26 so um, yeah, this usually tends to look pretty strong since they just want you to call and that's what he's going to get since we're just getting a good price to set mine, so I do call, flop, queen-8-4, we do not hit our set, so when I check and he bets $20, I'm just going to let it go. Next hand, once again, a pocket pair. Let's see if we can hit a set this time. I make it $12, get the high jack button and big money call. Flop, ace, king, jack. That, yeah, definitely good for our range, but not for pocket fives and four ways. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm not going to try to turn my pocket pair into a bluff. I check, button bets $20, and I fold. Ace, four off, 10, three off. 10, 8 off, jack 10 off, and a button definitely raise it, but the hijack makes it $17, so I fold. 6, 5 off, jack 8 off, jack 10 off, 10, 7 suited. Now an under than one with 4, 5 suited. Definitely here, early position. I think folding here is fine with small suited connectors, but sometimes let's raise it up. I make $12, and this is the big blind calls. Flop, jack, king, eight. So once again, pretty bad for our hand. Good for a range, but this board, I just think I'm getting called a bunch. There's so many just draws, top pairs, hands that just won't fold. So with nothing going on for us, I decided to check. Turn is a queen. Check, check. River is a six. He checks again. And now I definitely think I could be going thin for value with a jack. For example, I'm checking back the flop with a king. And when the turn comes, I'm checking again. And now I think I'm good. So I could bet. Of course, five high is not good. And I do think we get a decent amount of better hands to fold. Ace high, 10 highs, or maybe a river six or a eight. So let's do it. I make it $12. He thinks for a little bit and sadly does call, I show, and of course we're not good against eight, seven off. So he flopped bottom pair and did get sticky on the river. Honestly, I did think I'd get that to fold since I do think I'm betting here a lot for value with jacks or queens, but he makes the correct call this time and takes it down. So let's move on. Three deuce off, deuce eight off, 10, eight off, nine, three off, eight deuce suited. And let's go back to the premiums. Ace king suited in the hijack, low jack limbs. I make it $15, get the cutoff small blind and low jack to call flop absolutely amazing jack 10 queen reflop the nuts the straight 
feels good. First decent flop for us. It's always nice. It's flopping the nuts. Check to us. And now let's try to get some value. We're not blocking any top pairs, two pairs, or smaller straights. So hopefully someone has something strong. And we get $20. And it looks promising since it's a small blind and low jack calls. Turn is great. It's a three, a complete brick. Checks to us. And let's try to get it all in by the river. Difference between one, three, and two, five. And a one, three, we're way more shallow. So we don't have to be too big to be able to get it in by the river. So I make it $60. But sadly, doesn't seem nobody has nothing too strong since they both fold and we take it down. Let's get through some garbage. A7 off, 10 8 off, 8 3 off, King 8 off, 6 3 off, King 8 suited in the small blind, not playing this hand against a race, so I fold. Queen 4 off, 5 3 off, Jack 4 off, 9 4 off, King deuce suited. Now an under the gun with 6 7 suited. I make it $12 and get 4 callers. Flop. Jack, 10, 5. So that 5 of spades is definitely nice. But so multi-way, I'm just not bluffing. Playing straight up. I check. Low jack at $60. That is huge. Pot. And of course, I'm just folding. 10, 4 off. Deuce, 9 off. Now in a button with a pretty one. Jack, 10 suited. Under and 1 limb. So I make it $15. Small blind. 3 bets to 45 Big blind jams for 60 So yeah, definitely pretty annoying since it is a very nice hand we are getting a decent price but most likely we're way behind and this is just a spot if we're super deep like if they had a thousand dollars behind it's a profitable call since we can make a good amount of money if we do hit but the big one is already all in so no more money to get from him and a small one isn't that deep so we do just fold let's move on ace five off king seven off ace four off 10 6 off, and now we're in the button again with a pretty suited hand. 10 9 suited. There's four limpers, so I'm gonna get $30. Let's get the big one under on two to call. So, three ways to a flop that comes deuce, four jacks. So, not too much going on for us as a back to straight drop, but I made a very big pre flop. So, I felt like them calling, especially the big blind, it's just a lot of pocket pairs, or maybe like suited aces or connected hands like king queen and apart from ace jack or king jack most of the time i just think they're gonna fold all their ace highs or smaller pocket pairs below the jack so let's do it i'm gonna get 40 dollars big line does fold looking good but under than two just rips it all in for about 150 dollars so um what are you gonna do um i still don't mind this bet so sometimes they'll just have it since this jam definitely just looks like a jack or a set or maybe just going it with a flush draw but 10 high we just can't call so i just fold let's move on 10 4 off 9 5 off king 3 off king 5 off queen 8 off 8 4 off now we are in the big blind with a suited ace ace do suited under than two low jack limb small blind calls and let's try to get all this dead money i make it 30 dollars and this time it does get through they all fold 3 4 off 6 3 off now in a hijack with queen jack off low jack limps i make it 15 dollars and once again everybody folds queen deuce off jack three off now in a big blind with ace four suited cutoff makes it 10 dollars folds to us and um yeah i think it's fold here fine he just made it pretty small suited hand closing the action i do call flop jack king five i check he checks back turn is a four so we have a pair but when i check any bets ten dollars yeah, I don't think it's usually good. So I just fold, small blind, king, jack off. But then we got a decent one, ace, jack off. Cut off limb, so I make it $15, big blind calls. And now the cutoff goes all in, but just $31. And the big blind has 51 behind. So I think calling here doesn't make too much sense. Let's just jam, that is what I do. And a big blind calls. So let's see the run out in this three-way all in pot flop. Looking pretty good. Ace, deuce, nine. Top pair, jack kicker. Turn is a 10. River is a three. And we got lucky. And the cutoff flips over pocket. Kings, we show our ace and the big line muck. So nice to get one all in going our way this time. And uh, helps a little bit. We are still down $166, but that is not too much. Let's try to focus and keep it going. Next hand, we got pocket sixes in the cutoff. And we get $12, get a button, small blind, and big blind to call. Flop, deuce, queen, ace. So trying to hit sets, not working out well today. So multi-way, when it checks, I check. Turn is a seven. Big blind bets $45, and I'm just folding. While we get through a good amount of ugly hands, if you made it this far, I'd really appreciate it. If you could show some love, leave a comment. Always happy to talk about hands or anything poker-related or not. I don't know. 
any comment is appreciated. And um, yeah, this just takes a good amount of time. And the goal, of course, I love making these, but if I can make some money off of it, that would definitely be a plus to help not just have to make a living off of playing. I do monetize, but it doesn't, I'm not taking into consideration it's so low. So your comments, your likes, your shares help that goal happen. So I highly appreciate it. And with that said, let's move on. Now we're straddling under the gun. We looked on a seven, eight off. But in small blind and big blind just call and limp. So let's see a free flop. I check flop three, jack eight. So not the worst middle pair. When it checks to me, I feel like most of the time I'm good. I think it, the blinds would probably bet with a jack. Sure, we still have the button behind, but hopefully he does not have it. Let's bet for protection and value. Not too much value, mostly protection. I make it $10 and only the button calls. So that does not look great. Turn is a four and now I'm just checking. So you see the good news when it checks back. Reverse a queen. Happy to get a showdown. I check. He checks back and we are good against ace king off. So definitely good to note that he just limped in the button with such a strong hand and we will take it down. Moving on, six deuce off. Now we are in the button with ace jack off. Straddle is going on, we're playing four-handed and I make it $20 and they all fold. Ace eight off, now straddling under the gun. Again, we're pretty short, now it's five-handed. I look down at a pretty one, king jack suited. Button limps, big line makes it $18. And let's three bet in position. I make it 65 and he calls. Flop, queen, jack, nine. So definitely very interesting board. I do have middle pair and a gut shot. When he checks, I think I'm checking here a good amount with my strong hands, aces, kings, because he just connects a lot here as well. He could have his king tens, he could have queen jack, he could have pocket jacks, pocket nines, 10, eight. So in a spot that definitely, I think you have a lot of strong hands and I do not want to get check raised. I check back, turn is a queen. That is definitely a good card. Less likely he has one. And when he checks again, now I definitely think we're good. Let's get some value. And to get value, we want to make it pretty small since there's not too many worse hands. To get value from, from ace king or a straight draw or maybe a non-believing nine or smaller pocket pair, or could be a worse jack, jack 10. I make it $50, but doesn't seem like he has too much since he does his fold. Moving on, nine deuce suited, king four off, jack nine off, king nine off, jack deuce off, eight five off. Now an under the gun with a pretty one, queen jack suited. I make it $12, hit that button to call. Flop, ace, three deuce. And again, just I, I'd like to at least have a backdoor flush try to go with it. I do think sometimes I can bet here again because the ace is better for me and the button could be calling wide. So I don't hate a bet, but I do check. He checks back, turn is a five, check, he checks back, river is nice, it's a jack, so we hit our second pair, good enough to bet for value, so I make it $10, he calls, we show, and we are good, he shows a jack and mux. So always nice going super thin for value, he called by worse, since the flush did come in, and any four was a straight. Let's move on, now in a big one with ace, jack off. Hide jack, cut off limb, but that makes it $12, I call, limb first call, flop, queen, jack, four, it's not the worst middle pair, ace kicker, but, we tested the button if it's $35, a pretty big size and so multi-way. Yeah, if it was heads up, I think I got a call, but with more players left to talk after me and this bet just looks like a queen, maybe a flush draw, but the players after me could have queens as well. I just don't like this spot, so I just fold queen three off, 10 deuce off, four deuce off. And for one of the last hands of the session, we see a premium ace king suited in the cutoff. Hijack limbs, I make it $15. We get the button big and hijack the call. Flop, pretty good. Nine, ace, nine. When it checks to me, so multi-way in a spot that it definitely could have a nine. I don't need protection and I will be able to go for two, three of value and maybe they don't believe me after I check the flop. I do decide to check. Turn is an ace. So yeah, um, not the worst. Sure, if someone has a nine, that's great, but now we're chopping against any other ace. So it's okay, but not loving it. When it checks again to me, now I'm gonna play tricky because most likely whatever's gonna be called by is just gonna be an ace that we're chopping against, maybe a nine, but I don't think I get two streets of value from a nine. So with the idea that I'm probably only getting one street of value from a worse hand, I think it's more likely I could get it on the river. So once again, 
I check, River is a seven. Now the hijack does bet, he makes it $30. And there's two ways to go here, just trying to call and hopefully somebody calls behind, but just feels like none of them have anything. And maybe now he's betting with a nine thinking he's good to check to the river and won't believe that I have an ace that so checked twice. Let's do it, I'm gonna get $100, falls back to him. He does call and sadly we chop it up against ace, deuce, off. So indeed the turn was not good for us and we chop it up, last two hands, queen nine off, three eight off, and that will end the session. We almost made it back to break even, but sadly, they did end up in the red, but not the worst considering that we were down a decent amount more. Let's rack up, cash out, and talk about the session. That is it. We ended up down 65 bucks. That I think we're down like 300 at a point. Just playing one three. I'll take it. Um, definitely not the most fun session. Just in the red the whole time, and uh, it was just hard. It's just like we never were able to get a momentum going. When we started to make some back, like uh, we just keep on dropping to that like down 250, a little over 200. Just kind of getting stuck in the whole session. But thinking at the end, uh, we were able to get some back and almost break it even. So. Yeah, that's poker sometimes. It's not super exciting or no huge massive pots or, you know, I fought the nuts once with Ace-King, but um, yeah, poker can be boring sometimes. I hope it wasn't boring watching this, um, but um, yeah, that's just how it is. I hope like these type of vlogs make a more realistic view of how it is, how the grind is in case maybe someone that is watching this is thinking about playing uh, poker for a living uh this is a lot of days are like this and some are a lot worse <laughs> some are a lot worse than this so if you feel like this is a boring session like if you play often there's some that are way worse um so yeah that is it thank you everyone for watching as always as usual if you could subscribe if you haven't yet like the video and comment i'd highly appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time